Alright there ladies and gentlemen, John Sweepy here, bringing you another episode of the Monochrome Mapping Project. And today, well, I still think this is going to be quite a special little episode today, because we're going to go through map 15 of the Monochrome Mapping Project, White Room. 264 monsters, 4 secrets, and the reason this map is special, to me anyway, it's only made by the project leader themselves, Schwarpunk. So, let's see what the pro- No secret here, sorry, P.S. It is supposed to look like an entrance door. <laughs> okay. So, the project leader of the Monochrome Mopping Project is at last open to some scrutiny. And according to a private message he sent to me, he does not want me to hold back. And I won't, trust me. If I find something I don't like, I'll let you know. So, let's see. Style here seems very familiar to that of early on. It seems very familiar to that of the, um... Until hmm. we see this floor, anyway. And no music in the level, again. Ow! Oh god, that's a pain sector floor? Ugh. I thought I'd be able to have a nice little ride. Now I'm gonna have to run. Well, it's something, at least. Very quiet level, t too. I don't like these levels with no music. So far, with the exception of the Temple of Light, none of them have suited this silent treatment. Although, obviously, that's not necessarily the mapper's fault. However, this being Shabar Punk, maybe he did go for the silent option on this one. Who knows? It might have been an intentional choice at this particular map. Ow, what the heck? Stupid pistol man. What was not an angle I'm missing here? Let's have to look through here. We got. Is that a secret? Hmm. Is that a door? Hmm. Oh, it's a secret is revealed. Okay. Interesting. Very careful. Oh, wow, there's that dark void again. Hmm, is that a lighti lightning flash I just saw? Or an attempt to recreate a lightning flash, I should say. It looks like it. It's an interesting little uh, outdoor sort of effect. Oh, we can see across the void over there, in the distance. Hmm, very interesting. Where are we going? And oh, we guys to get the drop on a bunch of enemies because of that. Very bizarre. But anyways, ow. The reason that Shabar Punk said I should not hold back is that he felt that the comments in the Mega World, the, uh, the club thread, have been a little bit too light on him because he's the project leader. I'm kind of interested to play this for that same reason, but I do see his point. Just because the leader doesn't mean he shouldn't be subject to the same feedback that everyone else is. Now, I think. And you will taste the chainsaw! As would you if I could get up there. Oh, I was just lazy on my part, to be honest. Taste! Oh god, I need to be careful. I'm gonna chainsaw two imps. Better use the gun. Get one in the old health here. Die, imp! Die! Oh! Oh god! Instant reveal! That not good. Well, at least we found an enemy that's appropriate for the chainsaw to be used. Oh wow, I had to dodge that pretty quick. Seems like we've only got the pistol to start with here. Bit of an interesting weapon choice. I do wonder if that's how it's going to be for a little while. Whether we've sort of jumped ahead of two. Oh god! Ah, another imp! Jesus! How many imps are up in that little area over there? Dang! Alright, is that enough imps now? Can I focus on this guy down here? Oh god. Ah, last chain gun. Oh my god, there's actually another imp in that little area. He's not come out to play yet. I think. Hmm. A bit of sniping here, I think. Out. Lost. You taste the chainsaw. Right. Ah, there's a shotgun over there. There's a bunch of clips in here. Yeah, this definitely has a very similar feel to it of the uh, membranes maps, but hmm. Still feels slightly different somehow. This one seems to have a bit more to it. Near we going at least. Ow, ow! Damn it, I need some health. This is really bad. 
Oh my god, lost souls. No! Oh god, how did that hit me? Oh god, I was trying to juggle those guys. Oh jeez. The health is not good with this one. One health. Man, I've only ever been on this low health one other time. And it did not end well. Oh man, I really need something here. Ah! How's a stupid door open? Get lost. Imps. I need health. Where is a health kit? There's one over there. The dash to it. Oof. God. Such a tight health margin in here. Are we going here? Hmm. I don't even know if I want to take these armor drops. <laughs> okay, that lowered something. I can hear what sounds like a crusher or something lowering. Hmm. And now we have an invisibility orb, which I won't be using. Look! So, whoa, that's a... I can wait a minute. Can, ow! Something hit me! Oh god, there's some hit scanner. Way in the distance, somewhere. It pinged me then. That's not good. It's a very tight level, surprisingly. Oh, something... I, don't, I, don't, I can't figure out what else hit me. Is there a hit scanner there? Hmm. This is a little disconcerting. Low health. Not much to work with. I want to. I really want to go back a little bit, find more health, but I can't find. Oh, this is the. Hmm. There's more of that pain sector floor again. Oh, and now we have a whole bunch of them. Oh my goodness, they're coming from both sides. Oh god. Can't even risk a chainsaw on these demons. That's a decent little teleport trap there, somewhat. I don't want to risk him biting through my chainsaw. So I have to kill him with a shotgun a little bit. I'm not so sure this level is intentionally meant to be sort of difficult. Ish, but it certainly feels that way in the early going. Oh, it's, it's, it really seems to... We're definitely going to be punishing a player who's on, who takes a lot of damage early. Oh dear, I've got to be very careful now. Ah, take him out. That should make it a little easier. We can't take... Oh no, there's another chain gunner. Damn it. I mean, I could chainsaw these guys, but one bite would probably kill me. That's low health. No, 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 no. Away. Right. Hope that's the last hit scanner we'll deal with. And I went and picked up the invisible health. Oh! Hello. Now we're inside the room. Nice. I didn't know those were teleports, actually. Oh, and over there in the corner we got some imps and what sounds like a hell knight. I just really wonder where I took that damage from earlier then. Man, this invisibility power-up is terrible. Now I have to actually guess where I'm going to be. The invisibility power-up, it's incredibly... It's a nightmare, really. Because it basically means you have to kind of guess if the enemies are going to be accurate or not. And because you're naturally attuned to sort of dodging enemies, suddenly dodging when you should be staying still is a bit of a over thing to ask for. I'm gonna save here. Since we've done so well in the early going. Can we actually shoot through that, I wonder? Looks like we can. We'll deal with you. Hmm. Oh my. Are these switches too? Can't tell, but there's more of that strange void. Hmm, I mean, it looks like it's a bit of a... That's the void, it looks like a, just a very long room, which is probably the effect it's supposed to be. Anyway, we'll go back through the teleporter. Got ourselves a rocket launcher. Oh, they're both way to the same area. No problem. Hmm. Desperate, we need some health. Oh. Hmm. Oh, cool! There's the sky! Another nice grey texture effect. <laughs> Very pleasant indeed. I'm actually... Ooh, I'm actually kind of liking this... Oh my god, is that a fucking arch file? Seriously? Oh man, is that thing even awake? I can't, I can't tell if that thing's awake or not. It's actually not. Oh god! Ah, damn it! Fuck's sake! The stupid arch vial attacked me only. Ah! Stupid. 
Stupid Archer, I only attack right straight, I don't even go and run straight into me. Ugh. Well, that was a. Well, I've not died in this budget for a while. I guess that was an appropriate time to die or something. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not surprised the Archer I didn't just immediately go and attack. Ah, uh, no! This is the problem that Wall Health brings, and stupidly decided to use a rocket launcher early. No, I cannot afford it. Again, I, I'd have to check afterwards whether this seems an intentional thing or not, but I really need that health. Got some shotgun stuff around here. Got more shotgun shells. Hmm. Need to play well. Now, we're obviously going to need that key card. So let's go in here again. And it only seems to activate once we pick up the yellow, so. I'm going to run out of the room. Take him from a distance where I won't get rocketed in the face for it. Ah! Something fucking shot me. What the fuck was that? Is he dead yet? Oh, yeah. I think he's dead. What happened there? Oh, he is dead. I'm not sure what happened there. I must have been hit by an imp fireball or something. Way over in the distance. Go away, you. Ah, oh, well. Oh, a manky bye. Not good. I like how there's a dead guy in the pain sector down there to indicate, hey, dummy, that's where you should not be. Down there. Oh, God, there's another demon. I can simply not afford to be chainsawing anything right now in this health. Yeah, I must have been hit by that fireball. Oh, or that one. Fucking imp. I've started this level in a very bad way, and things have not improved. And to think, after this, after this uh, part is uh, recorded, I'm going to be then going to watch the War World War Z movie tonight. After finally reading the... Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh boy! More teleporting pinkies. Ah, please die in two shots, would you? Again, I do not want to risk using the chainsaw right now. I'd love to just chainsaw these zombies, but... Zombies? Sorry. Pinkies down, but with this low health and armor, I'm not in the mood to even let them have the slim chance of health damage. I have to simply pick them off with my guns. For now. Actually, make another... Thanky buy over there, which we'll have to deal with with a mixture of, um... There definitely seems to be more of a challenge about this one than the um, other maps that have used this style, mainly referring to... Ah, friggin' Pinky, I'm trying to pick you off from down there and you're not giving me an angle to work with. There you go, go down already, would you? Alright, so 97 out of 264 down. Hmm... It's interesting how some of these doors are opening up, though. They seem to open so quickly. I'm liking the triggers so far. It's... Oh! I see. When they light up like that, it means they're open. Very nice. I do kind of like that effect. They glow and then they open up afterwards. Very cool. Little simple trick there. I don't know. It seems to be more about this map than, say, Membranes Creations had, in terms of using the, well, just the map so far. I mean, this is already more difficult. I mean, look at me, I'm going to wall health nearly the entire time, and now we have this little cool trick. This is the kind of thing I'd want to see more of in other maps, for instance. I'm just going to use a rocket one here. I like how these are opening up gradually. Oh, it's like some kind of, <laughs> it's like some kind of, um, long-themed sort of, Gradual opening thing. Really cool. I think I might risk a chainsaw here. And here as well. Whoa! Nelly. Oof. Might risk the old chainsaw because I'm also now running well on ammo. Whoa! Ow! Ow! Fuck you! And fuck you! And fuck you! And oh, finally some health. Oof. <laughs> Headshot on the. Pistol zombie. Die! Man, I, this, um, the lack of health and ammo here is really starting to show. 
and I'm starting to think this was definitely a level design by choice to make it really challenging. Hmm, perhaps we started to hit the hard end of the project's, um, uh, sort of, oh god, we need that. Whoa, double dodge, shotgun ammo, might have got a t duel of hell knights over here to deal with. I one hit from these guys might kill me. Be very focused here. And not get hit so much. These knights are sure firing quite quickly. Something like in this corridor though. I get out of the way, you stupid fucking thing. Move. There you go. Down you go. Oh! Pistol zombie. Dang it. I'm really am running well now. Oh, I was hoping you'd pick him off with that. Why I fired it in there. Good shade sword! Come on, fire some shit, you fucking Ah, damn it! And screw you both too. Man, I am so ridiculous. I am running. I am already. I'm down to rocket ammo against a fucking imp. Can't be tricky to chainsaw an imp, even though they're so squishy. Because of... there. What could we have those rocket blasts to clear them out a bit? Oh, please tell me that's not going to just read them more cheap. I'm not liking that at all. Oh, it's better that we safe. Good. I could use some big health and ammo pool. I don't think I've ever had any kind of safe breathing space since the start of the level. It's just been very tiny little tweaks. Very tiny, sort of give just enough to let the player kill things, but never give them enough to be comfortable. Seems to be the basis here. Starpunk is certainly preventing a challenging proposition in the 15th map. Hmm, can we shoot through that? Let's test it. Yes, we can shoot through it. Thought I'd use the pistol to save the chain gun. Hmm, I'm gonna stay over here, actually. Just the way as I do these so, yeah. I don't think this map suits no music, though. It's not that quite that atmosphere where it's got to be quiet, per se. Hmm. I have over there. There's so many of them. Yeesh. I am chainsaw this last one, I think. There we go. Uh oh, we got caco demons, and I am nowhere near enough. I want to deal with them. Man, I'll have to ignore them for now. Could really use some kind of armor or anything, really. Oh, for f really? You're gonna give me a freaking pain elemental? That is not what I meant. This is not my idea of a reprieve, Star Punk. Reprieve is anything but a pain element next. Oof. Yeah, fight each other, you silly lost souls. Go on. Good thing I never found a deal with your master. I want to use a bit of the old corner trick. Drag him around the corner and pick him off. And bad news is I'm also now out of rocket ammo. Good news is this room has some rocket ammo. Guarded by these pesky imps. Oh well, I'll use a bit of height of you. Oh come on, another one? Seriously? This is getting a little ridiculous now. Oh god, he's come out the corner at just the right time. Gotcha. Taste chainsaw, you flying pest. Be very careful here. Look at we lost souls are easily chainsaw. As are pain elementals for that matter. It's just that. You don't really want to be doing that to a pain elemental. But, you know, we're not exactly abundant with ammo at this point. So we have to live by the skin of our teeth. Teeth of this chainsaw, that is. Now we have some rocket ammo, but still not really enough. I think I'll take a save after killing those two pain elementals. Ooh. Still no sign of real any really any reprieve. This map is relentless with just because of the lack of ammo. Certainly 
more challenging and distinctive than what I would perhaps, you know, be careful what you wish for comes to mind slightly here. Although, I guess I could have come back there and picked up the ammo. Definitely. Oh boy, and this did not get any easier. Chain Gunners and Kaka Demons. It's certainly making this level very demanding. I have to be really on the edge. And yeah, even without, even if I had been quite safe, I'm still only on, what, no armor situation here? I think I'm going to have to try and use my chainsaw as much as possible. Although there are pinky on the pest ground. Get out of the way, you stupid caca demons. I'm trying to kill your other caca demons. Oh, no. Now, you can chainsaw a caca demon, but again, it's ill advised. Better be careful here. Got away with that, big time. Unfortunately, there's some chain gunners in the far distance, so have they been dealt with? It looks like they've been killed, actually. The imps must have got to one. Good. I'm gonna try a rocket blast here. This blast damage definitely helped there. Took care of those pesky chain gunners with the imps. Good. Aw, oh, man. Just never lets up this level. Always just one more thing around the corner. One more thing. <sighs> Unending. I can drop a chain on fire. Oh, the thing is, I don't want to risk it, even though it's just a pinky. Again, I'm on 6% health. <sighs> and I hear something bad coming. Oh man, this is. This has got to be the trickiest level of the project yet. I don't think I've had this kind of difficulty at any point prior. Not one bit. Oh, that's just a tease. There's even health there. Hang on. I think we can get to that if we go around the other way. That means we have to fight new things, probably. Gotta watch these walls. Oh, no. We need the red key. Oh, my God. Some oh, shit. It's a spectre. No! No! Get out the way! No! God fucking damn it! All that hard work wasted. Yeah! I can do all that again. Alright. So I'm going to say it a bit more often, it seems. Oof. Level has this level has certainly not been kind at any stage whatsoever. This has definitely been a unique kind of difficulty that up to now we've not had. The brown room came close to this, but this is something completely different in terms of challenge. Now, <sighs> let's try and deal with this a little more efficiently. I don't want to go out of the way in the end. It'd be really nice, actually, if those freaking chain gunners would fight these kaka demons off a bit. I think I'll save the chain gun ammo, actually. That went much better. Hmm. Yeah, it did, too. Ow! Chain gun sniping! Imps in the way! Imps still in the way! Everything's still in the way. Please... Yes, yes, go and fight the chain gunner. Kill him. Kill him! I have to go to a movie at 7 o'clock, and this level is proving to be quite the challenge. Good. Crack Demon indeed did deal with the chain gunner. Thank you. I may be saving a bit more often on this map. Alright, so we dealt with them again. This time we can't, still can't grab the chain gun, unfortunately. Might be able to. No, it's too early. Kill at least one without. Okay. Ah! God damn it! Fucking goddamn. Ah! I left on top of him instead of actually dealing with him. Okay, fuck it. More saves. We need even more. Ah, oh, man. I. That was just an embarrassing death right there. Should never have happened like that. Alright, let's try. 
Right, let's try this again. The chain gunners will... F yes, that's it. Get the chain gunners out of the way early. We actually have to think strategically a bit more than we should with this mob due to the... They're actually killing off the Kakademon a bit here. Ow! Yes! Now they've pissed off all the Kakademons. Well, upset you. Looks like, it's, looks like you were the only one who got away from the... Oh, come on! Cut me a break! There we go. Scoot! I thought they got me. Chainsaw, chainsaw, chainsaw! And down. Good. They're dead. That's the good news. Bad news. There's still more to come. Alright. I think I might save as soon as I clear this little zone of enemies, but... Quite a bit better than that, to be honest. Alright. We used to fire on you. Please die. Please... Die. Thank you. Change the There. Good. Get those shotgun shells. Maybe try and pick them off from here, see if there's anything we can pick off around the corner. There we go. Aye. Oh, jeez! Saving! <laughs> I don't think I want to do that room for the fourth time. I don't think you want to see it. I don't want to... I didn't even particularly want to go this way, actually. I went to see if I could... Oh, wait, I can't go back in the back because there is a red door. But I did want to trigger the things beyond the doors. So we could get some of that shotgun ammo. Very nice. Let's see if there's any health. And I do not know shotgun shells too. Hmm, nothing, nothing, nothing. Alright, so we have a red key we need to get hold of at some point in the level. But it looks like other than that, we are going to have to go this way. Oh, this doesn't open up. Now we must pick off as many... Oh, what? Oh, hang on, I need to kill these first or else they'll interrupt my... Uh, rocket shot over there. Nice, nice. Got two of them and wounded a third. Beautiful. Fortunately, loads of hit scans round here. Very. Damn it! There, go down. Finally. Whew, boy. Well, if there's one, f <laughs> well, I certainly can't be uh, too unkind to a wad that's made me die three times already. In fact, I've only really died on... I've <laughs> been quite having a stroll so far. I wouldn't have died at... And honestly, I probably wouldn't have died at all if it wasn't for my stupidity in the uh, Tessel dose, but I did that as an experiment. Well, to be fair, I checked if I could run, around, run back, see what the danger was, but... You get the drip. Can I actually fall into this? Oh, I thought we could... Hmm. A bit weird. Looks like we got to somehow get that red skull down. This is definitely a unique map. Definitely a challenging one. This room has no purpose at the moment. No purpose at the moment? Well, there's a secret room we were in earlier. Okay. So, why is there a health kit in a very suspicious looking area? Hmm. There's an interesting message there. Has no purpose at the moment. Hmm. Bit of an interesting little message to put there. So we're gonna have to go up the lift. Kill you. Oh, there's another one. So glad he gave us the chainsaw early on, at least. Oh, we can just go around here. And that, is, and that gives us the red key. And I smell a trap of epic proportions. Oh. Never mind, I was expecting something big to happen there. We've seen quite a bit of everything so far. Oh my god! Health! Glorious health! Oh my god, I'm actually at full health for the first time since after taking the first shot in this blood. We actually have full health! Hooray! 
Maybe we, we now have a chance with this wad. Uh, this level on the wad, I should say. Wow, 24 minutes and several deaths. Now we're playing Baron. Okay. Very cool. And anything else in here? Nope. This is the previous... Now we need to go back to the red door and see what's through it. And this is a very... S hmm, we've got a very trippy looking thing on the other side there. That, perfect, that door effect is very similar again to that that was done on Abstraction Complex. Now we have the two barons to deal with. Hmm. Found a bit of an ammo sink here by the looks of it. Perhaps we'd let the barons take a bite out of these pinky spores. It was a bit of ammo. And now I wish I had the rocket one. The barons going to take a while to kill, I'm afraid. And he ain't going down the stairs, which means we've got at least some assurance they can back up into us, but. I have to be careful. I really want that baron to hit the pinky. Very awkward that he's not doing it. And very awkward that as soon as we get a decent stockpile of armor, we, we immediately have to go and waste it on a Baron. I mean, I could try and do another Father Beans Chainsaw of a Baron moment, but I don't feel like it. Not particularly for this one, anyway. Hmm. We have ourselves a glowing portal. And we have a yellow key, which we haven't used at all yet. What? Wait, that's the end? Really? There was an entire area I didn't explore. But that was the ending? I thought that was just going to be another teleport. Honestly. Uh, that's... kind of a... I did... I mean, there was that other area with the mancubi, but I thought we'd come back to that. That was... Uh... Huh. I don't feel like that was a satisfactory conclusion to the level, actually. Oops. So I'm not my mic off there. <laughs> I didn't feel that was going to be the ending. I thought that was just going to be another portal, perhaps to the other side of that goop, but I guess all that area is a secret? Huh. Okay, well, um... So, there's that. I actually feel like going back and checking out the rest of the map to see what there was, but if that's the ending, then that's the ending. Hmm. Actually, no, I'm not happy with that. Honestly? I want to see what the rest of the level's like. So, for the first time ever, I'm actually going to go back and continue the level slightly, because I want to see what else this level's got. Just, other than just, um, what we saw earlier. I mean, I'm sorry if you're going to see all this footage again, but I didn't feel that was a very... I thought... I'm not completely satisfied with my analysis of this level, so... Yeah, I beat the level, but I want to get... I want to check out that other area that we completely blanked. So, I may be saving a bit more often, just for time's sake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore that. I'm actually going to go back to that other area where we're in. With the radioactive stuff. This area I want to explore a little bit, to be honest. Damn it. Stupid floor. I mean, there's all this area I did not even explore. So I'm curious. Call me curious, but I want to see what this level has. I want to see what else this level has. Otherwise, that kind of feels like, um... Is that the same to- Oh, it is. The same toxic goop. Damn it. We really could have used that radioactive protection thing, because that looks like there's a big deal switch over there. Okay, we do have health, but... Hmm. So let's see what else uh, Shavar pumped pump into his level, then. Ah, there's a radioactive suit we can get for free. Good. Right, let's use that to our advantage. Pick up that dude. So let's go all the way back over here and... Now we can safely traverse the uh, goop, but of course we're not safe from other projectiles, obviously. Kill these off as well. Continue to further explore the level. Just a little tuck 
uh, I guess nothing else. So let's. That's another switch. Must have done something. Hmm. Let's go see what happened over here. Ah, now we have more access to this kind of area. Oh, and a little cove in here. Right. Hello, is this a secret? Nope, it's not. We flicked this yellow switch that did something, as well as a teleportal. It takes us... Hmm, it's actually done quite a few things to this area. Ish. It's also exposed the staircase up here. Yep, exposed the staircase up here with yet more enemies in it. With another switch. Hmm. That's way too suspicious for me. Oh. Okay. I thought there'd be some kind of trick. But I like the visual effect of looking down here. It's like looking for a very long periscope or something. So we've got the so we finally have a bit of health bonus in the level. And we flicked a bunch more switches. I wonder if there's a secret that we are missing. Hmm. Nothing else at the start, is there? I actually didn't also check this area out over here, whatever it was. <laughs> it's like a building. There's also these guys over here which I didn't kill either. Oh, I think this was a... Was this at the start? Hmm. You know what? I don't think I even went over to that area whatsoever. I just went entirely via the secret route. And now I can't go back. Oh, at least not to my knowledge, anyway. Oh! Okay, this has now opened a completely different area. Which is a secret. Revealing the super shotgun. And that area before with the, uh... Imps. I uh, start uh, imps cacodemons. I was like so much of this map I did not explore. I'm still gonna have gone back to actually kind of walk it over a bit. It looks like I might have given myself a bit of a chance. I mean, if it's like a secret or something, I won't mind, but this is just stuff I just lazily Oh boy, revenants. Oh man, I hate revenants. You know this. I hate revenants! Thankfully these aren't too difficult to deal with. Maybe we can get some infighting going even. Yes! Infight! Revenant versus Cackle Demon. Who will prevail? Kinda hard to tell actually. They're probably both about as fragile as each other. Revenant perhaps having a bit more DPS. And proving the first way. Ah, now we're in this really cool looking outdoor area. Well, it's, it looks nice anyway. The light, lightning effect. And here are those cackle demons we were hiding from earlier. And it looks like if we'd just taken the right path, we could have actually had ourselves a bit of a cache of ammo to work with. What a world of backpack. And this pro would have been perhaps a little bit easier, but even so, notice that there's one thing we have not received in the entire time yet for the whole level. Armor. Not a single bit of upper armor this level has had yet. I'm actually going to do some sniping here to take out these pistol dudes. Oh god, and then there's some pistol jerks up here that needs to be dealt with. And all this, by the way, seems to be not leading to anything at the moment. I've done the route that needs to be done to actually complete the level, but is there anything else? Hmm. <coughs> Got these extra rockets at the cost of some health. Just because. Why not? <laughs> and then we get to slaughter all these poor pistol zombies. Never had a chance. Nice little slaughter esque moment there. Mow them down. Mow them down. Good. Take the ammo. And this leads back to the other side of here, which I also could have gone in. You see, all these angles I did not explore properly. Uh, I think, though, that's about it. Anything aside from the secrets of the level. We've covered all the normal stuff, so now it's a case of do I want to hunt for the two secrets, or do I just want to wrap this up? Gig up pretty quickly. Hmm. Well, 
I don't know where to begin for the other two secrets of the level, so I might just opt for a quick wrap up. I can find, I can figure out and remember where I'm supposed to go. Which is this way. Right, red exit. Now we will unleash hell on the barons. Die, barons. Die. He's that. There we go. Ah, now I'm a little more satisfied to conclude the level since I've explored more of it. I think. Yep, I'll take that. That'll be much better. Ah, 99% kills. There. Now I feel like I've done the level analysis justice by fully exploring the level proper. Okay, so I didn't find every secret, but I explored the main... The, the, the parts of the level that were meant to be explored on a normal run. It's not like I... I would do this for other maps if I feel like I've missed an area that I haven't covered properly. Anyway, 99% kills, 97% items, half the secrets, and a final time of 31 minutes and 13 seconds. Overall, that was quite a good map, I have to say. You may have asked for criticism, but I couldn't really think of any. To be honest, I mean, it's very similar to the style that it was intended for the project, but it actually had some gameplay payoff, with a very challenging level, really. For at least half of it, perhaps half it would have been slightly easier on my front if I'd actually bothered to explore and maybe pick up some of the drops, but... Even then, that was after doing most of the level and having the health boost. This was not a comfortable level with no armor. I mean, there's probably a secret out there that gives you at least a mega armor, but no armor and minimal health and just teasing enough ammo. You've, this is quite a difficult level, actually. Fair amount of challenge if you're going to it on low health, to say the least. And I definitely like the use of lighting. The textures look nice. And visually wise, it was it was okay, a, a step above, although very similar to the membrane style that, of maps, but used more effectively with cleverer mapping tricks and text boxes and stuff like that. There just seemed a bit more oomph to this style of design with the um, default monochromatic textures that were asked for than what membrane did with his free maps. I can't really argue the gameplay challenge, there's a little bit of everything, and chainstorming a pain elemental is uh, not something you do every day. This was a very tricky map, for me anyway, and that impressed me. So good job, Svarpunk. You have done fine to this project. A good map. So let's see what's up the next time. And next time we are on Town Hall, another silver map. But slightly different texture. So, what did you all think of Shvar Punk's White Room? Did you think it was excellent? Did you think it was just alright? Do you know of any improvements that he could have done? Did you like the. Do you think I would have made that map a bit easier on myself if I had found and explored off to the side? Or do you think it still would have been quite tricky in terms of ammo and health? And what do you think will happen next time in Town Hall? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll catch you all next time for map number 16. And now I'm off to see World War Z at the cinemas. See you later, everybody!